Hello English 10, this is Mrs. Long, and it's my pleasure this week to bring you a new unit um, on this guy, John Steinbeck. Um, in the first two units of our course, and we are now halfway through the fall semester, in our first two units we looked at a play and we looked at short stories. We're moving on to a different genre this week, and that is the novel unit, uh, with a look at several different novels by one of the most celebrated American authors, John Steinbeck who has written 27 books, numerous short stories, won the Pulitzer Prize for and the Nobel Prize for Literature, and given us a lot of different looks at the underdog and different aspects of American history. So I think you're going to be enjoying this unit and the different things we can learn about it. It will connect to your modern U.S. history class because I believe you guys are studying just about the Depression at about this time, and many of the things Steinbeck has written are set in that time period. Um, we are going to be using this unit as well to look at patterns that are and structures that are in a literary text and how the authors connect to that. And we're also going to be looking at you as a reader and the way that you use strategies to enhance your comprehension, think about those strategies, and then ultimately take away something from the text with those, with those strategies. Um, so there's a lot going on. You're going to be reading the novel, discussing it over four weeks with the other peers that are reading your same book. Um, you'll be participating in a wiki this week, and again, applying reading strategies and learning about structures. And at the end of the book, you'll be taking a quiz on it, and then there will be several creative projects that you can choose to do to uh, display your understanding of it. So that's where we're going in this unit. Um, where you'll go through some of the introductory materials that kind of get you oriented here. And your first task is to choose the novel that you want to read. I did send out these titles last week in an email, and some of you have already been in touch with me about what you want to read. Um, but there's quite a bit of a breadth here. Breadth here. You can read a number of different stories according to your interests. Um, the shortest one is The Pearl, 96 pages. And the longest one, East of Eden, is over 600 pages. So do take into account your interest level, because that determines your motivation and your abilities and how fast you can read. You definitely want to put yourself in a winnable situation and you want to get something out of your book and not just have to rush through it. Um, but if you are interested in one of these two longer books, I will entertain extra credit on those because I do recognize the extra effort. Uh, so be in touch with me about that. Um, but you're going to go ahead and pick one of the books that is in here. You're going to declare your choice to me and then you're going to make a schedule for yourself where you're going to take the number of pages that is in the book and then break that down into four different sessions because uh, there's four sessions in this unit and you'll have deadlines for each of those things and these are the due dates you'll want to work with. So you want to print that out and have a session. Then from there what we'll be doing is first learning about John Steinbeck's background and in learning about John Steinbeck's background we will create a class wiki very much similar to what we did with literary devices in unit two um, you'll end up using this link here to go to a wiki that is available to all Jeffco students and I will add you if you are a BOCI student so that you can access that. And you're going to be collecting six to eight pieces of information about John Steinbeck and his early years, career, relationships, the different pieces that may have gone into his writing. And later in our unit you'll be looking back at this once you know your novel, looking for connections between his life and the, the books that you've been reading. Um, so that will be your second task this week after you've chosen your book and after you've um, signed that schedule you'll be looking at this wiki and from there you'll be going back to start actually reading your book according to the schedule that you've created and you'll be using a reading journal that you can find here on Google Docs and then attached here where I'll ask you to look at creating questions and answers that you could only know by reading the text. That's to help you summarize one of our reading strategies. Um, I'll ask you to pick out two words from your section and look at some of the definitions for those and different parts of speech for those. And then finally, I'll have you use some of these different processes before, during, and after reading. So do make sure that you take a look at this before you start your reading. Um, from there, our last Topic, our last task of the week will be to post on a discussion board. And I'm going to be doing discussion boards a little bit differently in this unit. Instead of having one discussion board per week, you're going to have one discussion board for your entire novel discussion. So the Pearl discussion will go on for four weeks. 
mice and men will go on for four weeks. Now you'll see several different discussion boards here. You're going to go to the one that's relevant to your book. And that's where all your discussions will be. This is worth 120 points. I'm just going to go into the, the pearl here. This is worth 120 points. That's 30 points per week, which is what we've been doing for discussion boards. Um, but I will score that all at the end, and that will be scored using the same discussion rubric that we've used previously. Um, each week I will give you something to discuss on the discussion board, and in this session I just want you to introduce yourself to your members, um, share your initial impressions of the book, and then respond to two of your peers. So you do need to be posting every week, but the points won't be recorded until the very end. Um, and that's about it for this session. Once you wrap up this session, you can continue reading on for the second session. Um, it's going to be very similar. You're going to be reading the second quarter of your book in the second session. So as always, if there's any questions or concerns, be in touch with me. And have fun with Steinbeck. Pick a great book and enjoy your experiences. And have a great week. It's a great week to start on Monday morning after a good Bronco game. Um, hope you enjoyed your weekend. Talk to you soon.